Welcome back. Typically in the case of most small business teams or solo business teams, support is managed by the same team generating the revenue. And so in those cases, supporting the customer typically has to be split among those team members. This Trello board is really designed to give a visual sense of how much each team member has to do. Now you'll notice that there is a label being used and the labels represent hierarchy as well as what people are doing together. This board does not necessarily move left to right in a progression. However, each card has a considerable amount of information in it and it has in it exactly what the person is supposed to understand about their particular task. When you assign multiple tasks to individuals on a team, you'll be making use of the filter. And you can find the filter by going to the menu and then clicking filter cards. And of course, you can filter by the name. For example, if we click the filter for Amy, we'll find all of the cards that she is associated with will have a sense for what she is actually doing versus someone else. We can do the same thing for one of the other team members. Andre in this case. We click on Andre and then we have all of the activity that Andre is involved in. We can also sort by label. It's a good idea to be able to do that because again we're not looking at a timeline we're looking to try to determine whether or not one person has too much in terms of responsibility and how we can shift to make sure that the distribution is fairly equal. Again, by keeping each card member and label specific, we keep the card management simple, but we make it very easy to filter. In this particular case, it would not necessarily help us to be able to search cards. We want to make it easy to filter, and that will actually happen in some cases when you have to set up your board. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.